Okay, this tutorial is going to show you briefly how to do three SQL commands. Uh, the first one is how to insert a new record into a MySQL table. The second is how to update a record and the third will be how to delete a record. So uh, the example I'm working on is a table called news which has four fields in it. News ID, the primary key which is integer, uh, and then three text fields, headline, article and author. So the order there is reasonably important, headline, article, then author. If I browse you'll see a series of bits that I've put in here just in a bit of practice. So uh, what I'm going to do is insert uh, record number 22, so that'll fall after our last current record. So I'll go to the SQL section and the command to insert is nice and simple. It is insert, oopsie, a bit of a delay here. Where are we? No. Insert into, then what we do is we specify the table, which in this case is news, and then we set the values that we want to insert. Now the values go inside brackets and each value has a quote mark around it. So this was number 22, then a comma to separate each bit of data, quote mark, um, and the first one was headline, so uh, here is my headline. The third thing was the um, article, which is an exciting article, blah blah. And lastly is the author. Now notice each one is separated by a comma, and here's me as the author. Which I can't spell my own name. There and close off the bracket. So just to recap, that is insert into, then news is the table we're inserting into, we speci specify the values, and there is each value in order. So the news ID is the first one, the headline, the article, and then the author. So that order is important. So now when I click go, the query runs, and if we just browse the table now, we should have a new record down the bottom. There it is. News ID 22, here is my headline, blah blah, and author Mr. Adams. So that's how you insert a record into a table. Now say I need to update that, maybe I want to change the author from Mr. Adams to uh, Mr. Clark. Now uh, what I need to do is just check the news ID is 22, so I'm going to change that particular record. So if I go to my SQL, what I'm going to do is update a record. So the command is update. I say which table I'm updating, which in this case is news. Then I say what particular bit of information I'm changing. In this case, I set the author to equal the new author. So I put equals, um, a little quote mark, and then Mr. Clark. Close quote mark. Now um, I need to set which record it is I'm actually updating. So I say where uh, news ID equals 22. So just to recap, this will update this table called news. It will set the author to Mr. Clark, but only where the news ID equals 22. So it's only one particular record. So when I click on go, should run if I browse now and check out record number 22 down the bottom here is my headline blah blah author Mr. Clark so it works successfully so that's uh, how you update a record and last but not least how you would delete that record if I go back to my SQL uh, it's a nice simple command delete and I can't spell delete then we say from the table, so in this case it's from news, and then we just select which record it is. In this case it's where news ID equals 22. 
and that will only delete the record that has an ID of 22 in the news table. So when I click go, probably get a warning message. There it is. Do I really want to? Yes. And it seems to have run OK. We'll just browse to double check. There it is. 22 is now missing. So uh, that's very quick, I know, but that's just a, a quick overview on how you would insert, update, or delete records from a MySQL table.